GPS reflectometry has opened up a whole new suite of geoscience problems that can be investigated using this technology and extending it far beyond what we really ever imagined. If 10 years ago you said to somebody, you can measure soil moisture with GPS signals measured at standard GPS sites, someone would say, you're crazy. But now, within 24 hours, we can retrieve the data from hundreds of sites. It's like static on the radio. <laughs> it's the unintended observation. It provides a spectrum of environmental observations that we used to call noise and we used to throw away. But the group that is receiving this award has been very clever in identifying the sources of what is truly a signal. The project was an interdisciplinary collaboration between scientists at the University of Colorado, scientists at NOAA in Boulder, and at UCAR. And without the data that's collected and archived by UNAVCO, the whole project would not have been possible. The original goal of the project was to study the tectonic applications. We can look at fault motions, plate motions, volcano deformation, earthquake-related deformation, and we can now better understand environmental parameters that are important across a spectrum of applications for society. GPS reflectometry is using reflected GPS signals to monitor environmental variables. For example, in Colorado, we're interested in the snowpack and its development throughout the season. By monitoring the snowpack, we have more complete information for the distribution of water that may be used later in the year. What's particularly exciting about this application is that it potentially uses more than 1,100 existing stations to do something completely new. They're of great interest to everything from food security to tomorrow's weather.